Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend of Ungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is Manilungu, and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to react to just let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to do it a big shout out to the person that suggested this so today i'm going to be reacting to the kerala king who reverted to islam kerala i'm not sure how to pronounce that but without wasting time let's get into the video assalamu alaikum if i was to tell you to guess where i am right now you wouldn't be blamed for thinking that I'm in southern India. But I'm not. I'm in a very, very special place in the Arabian Peninsula, but it has a special link to southern India. And I'm going to tell you the story of Charaman Parmal, who was the Indian king from Kerala, who went to Medina to meet the Prophet ﷺ and embraced Islam with him there. So it's an amazing story. Uh, and there are many different narrations and versions of the story but some of the details which people agree on can be found in many different books of the scholars and you can see here in the middle of Oman in Salala, the place where we are now you will find the resting place, the grave of this Sahabi uh, the companion of the Prophet Muhammad so how did this man become a companion and who was he and where did he come from and why is he buried here so the story goes that he was a Hindu king from Kerala, the south of India. And some of the companions of the Messenger وسلم, came over to India to seek his permission to visit Sri Lanka, which was known back then as Ceylon. During the discussions which they had with this Hindu king, they mentioned about the Prophet وسلم, they mentioned about the miracles of the Prophet وسلم, and they also mentioned the mu'jizah, the miracle where the Prophet وسلم, split the moon. And this king himself, who was known locally as Charmon Parman, witnessed the splitting of the moon of the Prophet وسلم, from his palace in southern India. And he asked more and more, who is this Prophet وسلم, who is this man, how can I find out more about him? He gave the traders, the companions permission to visit Ceylon, which is known today as Sri Lanka. They returned back uh, to southern India, to Kerala, and the Hindu king traveled with them all the way to the city of the Messenger وسلم, in Al Medina, Al Manawara. He met the Prophet وسلم, he embraced Islam at the hands of the Prophet وسلم. He was given the name Tajuddin. Radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him. He became one of the companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who sat with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who talked with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who ate with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we have very little reference to this story in the Sahih Ahadith. However, there is one mention in uh, mentioned by Al Bukhari. Uh, which this Indian king visits Al Medina and he gifts the Prophet وسلم, some pickled ginger, which is one of the specialities, even till this day, of the people of Kerala. The Prophet وسلم, took it and he ate from it and he gave it and shared it with the rest of his companions. So this Hindu king saw and witnessed the miracle of the Prophet وسلم, with his own eyes. He embraced Islam with the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he intended to return back to southern India where he was from. However, when he arrived in this city in Salala amongst these palm groves, he, he passed away and he's been buried here ever since. However, the delegation which he was returning to Kerala with included the great companion of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyidina Malik ibn Dinar radiallahu anhu and he carried on the journey, continued onto Kerala and he is buried there and the place where he uh, has been laid to rest is known and is visited until this day. So that brothers and sisters is the amazing story of the Indian king who was a companion of the Prophet وسلم, who converted from Hinduism to Islam, accepted the Risalah and Nabawiya as Sharifa, this prophetic noble message of the Prophet وسلم, and this is an example of one of the people about who Allah says about them in the Quran Radiallahu Anhum wa radu an. Here is the Indian companion, the Indian king who accepted the message of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and what's amazing 
is this whole area is as if you were in Kerala. Even before I knew about this place, I said to my family, this place reminds me of Kerala in southern India. And this is all from the blessings and the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who guided the heart of Charaman Parmal and who was known as Tajuddin to follow the deen of Al Islam and accept the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And now he's buried just outside Salalah in Oman in the Arabian Peninsula. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very interesting. Was he hearing about Muhammad? Did he hear about Muhammad first? Or was it because of the split moon that he figured, he discovered, not discovered, like found out about Muhammad? Also, I mean, it's always a good story. I wish there was more information. My light keeps going off. It keeps disturbing me. I don't, I've even lost what I was talking about. Otherwise, I was saying I wish there was more information about the king. It seems like there's lead to, to uh, limited information. So if there's anyone out there with information, um, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to read what you have to say and your thoughts on this as well. Let me know what you think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.